make it home. Good morning, YouTube. We have got our wall stood up and are now starting on ceiling joist. Hopefully, we get the ceiling joist today. Maybe doubt it, but maybe get the rafters also. They're giving rain starting tomorrow. Yeehaw, more rain. But we're running two before ceiling joist on two foot centers. And as you can see, in order to have a, this will be the hallway, but run a header with, if you can see it, joist brackets. It'll be all the way across. And then be the same thing here on the header between the kitchen and the living room. We do not have all the interior walls up yet. We're kind of trying to get it, get a roof on it as quick as we can. Thanks to the weather, we've not been able to get it done as fast as we wanted to, but we're trying. Got our ceiling joist in. Didn't get to film it because the camera decided to mess up on us. We got quite a bit accomplished. We got them all in one a day. And now. What? And now we're going to start working on cutting our rafters. Is that our pattern one? Can I use this one right here that he wrote the, the P on for a pattern to start cutting all of these? I don't know how many we got to cut. I know it's a bunch. Karen, do the six, it's hard. So, I'm gonna get the camera set up and then let you all watch us do this part. Yep. And just informed, we gotta cut 60. Maddie, grab that. Of these that are, where are they, roughly. 15 foot long? Right, they're right under 16, they're like 15. Yeah, they're 15 something. I don't know They're right, right under 16. So, well, we've got to cut a total of 60 of them. So, like I said, gonna set the camera up and let y'all watch us get this done. Good morning, YouTube. We've got our ceiling joist up there last weekend. We got all of our rafters cut this week, and then yesterday evening we came up. I had quite a bit of help, and we got all of our rafters slid up overhead, <coughs> ready to put up. This morning I just got to get up there and set up my ridge board. Let's see if I get down here. 
got one little piece up last night there but it started getting dark so I gotta get up and level all that up situate it and then set the ridge board up the rest of the way out and then we can start nailing rafters on okay so you can't really see Jake up there too good but right now he is nailing up the bracing for our rafters nailing it to the ceiling joints so that's what we're working on today we've not really been able to film a whole lot because our other camera decided to mess up and then um just going so fast that we put out the camera so but i'm gonna help him get these up and one step closer to being done So, we lost two days of work this week, which we we're at Saturday, but uh, Mr. Jackson here fell off swing and broke his arm, required um, surgery on it. So, lost a couple of days of work dealing with that, and then Jake has been working some, but hopefully today we will get our blocking and stripping done for a tin. Just about got the front side done with that. Then we'll work on the back side. Maddie up there helping her daddy. So, yeah, that's what we're doing today is hopefully getting everything ready for 10 here very very soon
So we now have all of our tin done. We didn't get to record the rest of it being done past what we've got because somebody decided to get hurt and not one of the kids. I did not. I would show you, but I don't know if he wants to show off his Buzz Lightyear PJ pants. This is the back side. Yeah, my dad and a nephew. I think actually, I think he ended up having two nephews help. Um, one, one of my nephews got up and put all the screws in for them. Um, and another nephew had come up and helped him hand up ten and. Of course, Pops is up here again, too. So, a big thank you to all of you guys for getting it done for us. And I'm sure you're curious as to why there's light green tin on the back. And dark green tin on the front. Well, a couple of different reasons. Main one being is it just worked out better money-wise with the way that we bought our tin. Originally... Uh, we were going to be going with a mobile home, so the first batch of tin we ordered uh, was going to be for a garage slash storage building. Uh, to, and we was going to use the lumber that we had saw, you know, off the property for that, but... I decided that I wanted to build instead of getting a mobile home. <clears throat> thanks to the COVID junk, everything got so hard, so we actually figured out it was easier to do this. Yep time consuming but yes very time -consuming. easier but either way when we ordered our second batch of tin um we got the uh the lighter green cheaper than what it would have been to get another batch of dark green so we decided to put the lighter green here on be the south side of the house so it'll help it during the summertime on uh cooling it it won't get as hot as the dark green tin will and the sun, whenever it goes over, the majority of it shines on the back side of the house. Yep. Yeah, it pretty much stays on the back side of the house. So, if we ever get the chance, there may very well be a solar array up there that's going to cover most of the light green anyway, so it ain't like it's going to matter. Yeah, because our hope is to completely go to solar power in a few years after we get everything settled with building and <clears throat> get moved in and all that good stuff. So. but we now um, have our roof done it's time for our storm boxing as we call it we'll be boxing we're not going to be boxing the house with plywood we're actually going to be boxing it with lumber on a 45 degree angle to help tie everything and support everything tie it all together and support it make it a lot stronger um it was, it's a technique that they used to use a long time ago. Um, you don't see it no more because everybody goes with plywood and, or OSB, either one, mostly OSB anymore. Because it's more convenient, it's, it's easier. It's quicker to do the plywood and or OSB, either one. It's quicker to do the sheathing. And cost-wise, I mean, it, it just makes more sense <clears throat> for us cost-wise to go with the inch lumber storm boxing because our hope is to do this mortgage free so far we ain't. and so far we are reaching that goal um mainly because like you said the tin we actually bought the dark green tin almost a year ago when we first started clearing because he was going to have a garage so for us, I mean, it just makes more sense cost-wise. It's more work, but less cost at the end of the day. But it's also stronger, so. So that'll be our next <clears throat> journey is storm boxing the house after. After somebody gets over their ailments. After somebody heals up and. Hopefully that won't take long for his knee to get better and him off crutches. So, we'll see y'all next time. Bye.